Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So we got the Iron Man shirt on today. I don't know if you guys can see that. Iron Man. A lot of people seem to like the uh, what shirt I'm wearing. So I thought, hey, if I'm wearing one of my comic shirts, I'll point it out for you. So today I want to talk about the reasons why... And how many do I have here for you? Using my, you'll notice I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Love this thing. What do we have? We've got uh, five, five reasons anyways why 4K video is going to suck or does suck. Um, and ba basically, when I say that, we're talking about reasons that uh, it's not, not a good thing that it's coming out, not a good thing for you, not a good thing for me, and um, why it's uh, not important to us. So we'll just sum it all up and say these are, the, these are four or five reasons why 4K video sucks. So now you're going, what the heck is he talking about? Well, number one. I'm going to make sure I got these in the right order for you here. But let's start with the fact that for most people, for most of us out there, and for most intents and purposes, 4K is unnecessary. If you're a YouTuber, you do a lot of video on YouTube like I do, like you're watching right now, 4K is totally unnecessary. I don't know when we'd ever use that. If you look at YouTube, YouTube always wants to auto-adjust your size down to the smallest um, size they can. They'll often show it to you at like... 460 or whatever um, like below SD and the reason for that obviously is depending on what device you're on um, they're gonna want you to uh, to not use as much of their bandwidth as possible and that's a smart thing and for the most part um, it's not even necessary to watch YouTube videos in in HD um, I mean if you're on a big screen big monitor you're sitting at your you know you're at home right now processing some photos you just shot you're on your big 26 inch 27 monitor you're going to want to hit the HD on YouTube. But for the most part, um, we don't even make use of the HD we have right now on YouTube. So I think 4K, especially for like a YouTube situation, is totally unnecessary. You want to share a video with a friend on your phone. You want to email somebody a video. Uh, these type of things, uh, 4K is unnecessary. Most people don't have a 4K TV right now. Most people won't have a 4K TV for a long time to come. So... It's totally unnecessary. Then, second, we get into size and the problems with the size. So second, uh, at the moment, with um, the codecs we have and with the compression schematics we have and whatnot, um, or schematics or compression algorithms, whatever you want to call them, um, 4K is, is big. It's going to be really big. I mean, as you know, if you shoot uh, uncompressed um, 1080 HD video, it's big. Even if you just shoot 1080 video, it's big. Do a long clip. Do a 10-minute clip, and you're into like a gigabyte on, on a good uh, encoding setting if you're not compressing it heavily. Um, so it's, it's a big monster 4K to deal with. And then, so that's the big thing is the size. And the problem with that is would be number three we'll bring that in as our point number three is storage space with the size uh you're gonna need a lot more hard drives you're gonna need a lot of um we're gonna need stuff bigger than our current uh availability of blu-ray um that's gonna make blu-ray seem like dinky compared to um when we were shooting much smaller video and even could back it up on dvd so we're gonna even want bigger formats than blu-ray we're gonna want more and bigger hard drives uh so this is it's just fueling the push for bigger 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 and that's gonna cost you money you're gonna need more hard drives a lot more of them if you're shooting 4k um and then next up i guess that'd be point number four because of this size um Upload time, bandwidth. Let's say you want to put something online as shot in 4K. It's going to take you forever. Most people don't have the, the fastest bandwidth in the world as it is. Sure, I mean, there's spots in the world that have great bandwidth. There's areas in California, areas in New York and whatnot where we have really good bandwidth. But a lot of people don't have access to that and they don't even have a lot of choice. So bandwidth is um, going to be an, an issue with 4K, whether you're bringing it up or bringing it down. Um Next to do with the size issue again um, with 4K is we're looking at processing power to work with these things. Uh, we're already seeing that we need a lot of processing power to work with like an H.264 um, codec 
um, or algorithm or whatever you want to call it, the, the shell that they encapsulate the movie in when we, when we work with an H.264 video, which is similar to MOV, uh, but it basically shrinks it down for those of you that aren't familiar with it, gives us uh, a, a smaller file than if we were shooting in older formats that are much larger and less compressed. Um, the problem with that is is that the computer needs more, more power, more juice to work with those shrunk down files like an H.264. So now you're going to work with a 4K video which has tons more information and even in H.264 format, going to need more processing power to work with it quickly and efficiently. So, uh, I mean, I've got an i7, um, what is it, a 3930K, the 6-core. Uh, I did a video a while back about building that. I've got 32 gig of RAM. Um, I'm going to need to bump that up to at least a full 64 gig of RAM. And you might even really, to work with 4K properly, you might have to start daisy-chaining processors like the one I have in mind. Um, it's going to need a lot more processing power to deal with the uh, the 4K video. Next up then, how do we look at it? We're really, to look at it, to get the benefits from it, we're going to need 4K monitors. We're going to need 4K monitors. We're going to need 4K televisions. Again, increased cost. And um, right now, they're still quite expensive. They're coming down. Did a video not too long ago on the Dell Art Ultra Sharp um 4K monitor that's, what was it, 27 or 28 inches, and it was around the $700 mark, but still a lot more expensive um, than what you can get non-4K monitors for. Uh, and the same with televisions. 4K TVs are still very expensive. Now, granted, that's going to come down in price over time, but right now it's another huge cost. So, I mean, there's a lot of costs involved here. So, there's uh, four or five, I even lost track of how many we were up to there, four, five, six reasons why 4K is going to suck. What do you think? Are you looking forward to 4K? Do you think it's going to suck? Or are you excited about 4K? Do you, you, you want to get into it right away? Uh, let us know. Um, tell us, have I missed something? Is there another reason 4K is going to be an issue? Put it in the comments below. Is one of my comments not pertinent? Do you disagree with me? Let's have a discussion about this. Let's keep it civil. And thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned to artoftheimage.com. We'll be back with some new videos, some new articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography right here at artoftheimage.com. And just likely, our next video will be why 4K is awesome. <laughs> Talk to you soon.